Uh, Mike, dude, so I was thinking about this. What, um, we always use this food scale when we're reviewing like protein and stuff. What's the deal with that? Welcome to Price Plow. All right, so to us, it's very important that people understand that not all powders are created equal, not all scoopers are created equal. And so when we're doing a review, there's a couple reasons why I like to weigh out the scoop. First off, I always use a food scale when taking a pre-workout supplement. And the reason is because there's stimulants involved and I wanna make sure that I'm getting the dose of the stims that I want. So for instance, we have this new, and I have not even taken this, just opened this up, Animal Fury from Universal Nutrition, the Animal Pack guys. And this is a 350 milligram uh, of caffeine pre-workout. Pretty straightforward, looks like a really cool formula. Each scoop is supposed to be 16 grams. And then with that 16 grams, you're gonna get the 350 milligrams of caffeine. Now, what if though, people are taking this over and over and over and they realized, and we realized that, hey, a scoop was actually not 16 grams, a scoop was like 22 grams. All of a sudden your 350 milligram of caffeine pre-workout is really like a 425 or more kind of gram of pre-workout. And so that's, uh, that could you know, be more than people wanna take. And also they could burn through their tub faster, which would be for like a bit more of a negative review because uh, you know that might be an unscrupulous kind of activity. Now I understand that not every, it's hard to measure out these scoops to make them perfect with everything, but we wanna make sure that people are kinda of close. It also shows to me that the companies kinda of care about um, the details. If you see a company is really into the details, they're gonna have this closer than, you know, than another one who doesn't. Now at the same time, we're in Texas, it gets humid here, and it's always kinda of tough to perfect it because things change inside of the tub. And so, even with shipping, sometimes the top of the tub might be less dense than the bottom of the tub so on and so forth. So anyway, this is an example and I'm putting Universal under the gun here. It's a four or five gram scooper. I'm gonna tear it and I'm expecting this to be, I'm expecting this to be 16 grams. And lo and behold, we are a little bit short. So the good news is no one's gonna get overstimmed from this. I typically like, you know, 10% give or take. So this is close. But at the end of the day, what I would normally do is have a shaker cup I would tear it, pretend that there's water in here, and then I'd start dumping the product in here until I hit the dose that I want, 16, maybe a little less, maybe even a little bit more. And so um, to me, this shows that, hey, Universal Nutrition is pretty close, but they weren't perfect. Maybe they should have gone up slightly bigger scoops, guys, but maybe, uh, you know, maybe it's Texas and it gets humid here and this, you know, the stuff gets clumpy a little bit. Same goes with protein. When we measure out the protein powders, I want to make sure that we're not getting ripped off where a huge scoop of protein is really selling us, you know, like instead of 25 servings, we're getting 20 servings out of this tub. But also some of you really hardcore bodybuilders are really watching the macros carefully. And if you're doing that, I urge you to use a food scale because if you have a 33 gram scoop, and your end of, you know, really, and that brings you, let's say 26 grams of protein, the scoop ends up uh, being like 40 grams, then you're really gonna get more than 26 grams of protein, which could be cool, but you're also gonna get the extra carbs and everything too. So that's why we're doing this in the reviews, to make sure that we're getting the right num number of stims in, but also to make sure that these companies are paying attention and that they're not trying to kind of sneak a couple extra servings out of that tub a little faster than a month. And so if you like our reviews, uh, subscribe to the button below. This is Mike with Price Plow, and uh, we'll be here forever.